Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to show you on how to create a Vignan edible object. That way you can be able to eat some food in Vignan. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, the first thing you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing Unity 2020.3.48. Now, do keep in mind that Vignan does update a lot, so because of that, there's going to be a chance that Vignan may have a Unity update. So, please keep that in mind in the future that this tutorial might end up getting a bit outdated, but you're going to have to apply your own knowledge in case there is no tutorial remake or something like that. Who knows? But, just keep that in mind. But otherwise, though, for the time being of this tutorial, um, this is basically how you're going to make a Vignan edible. Now, in case you're also wondering, where on earth do you get the food props from? So, basically, you can either A, look at the Unity Asset Store, you can get some food objects there, B, you can model your own in Blender, or you can go to a Turbo Squid or Sketchfab and download a model there and such, um, or you can commission somebody to make it for you. Um, there are different ways you can get a, a th you know an FBX file to convert to a Vignan edible or have someone do it for you But basically these food props here, which link in the description You can actually download the Vignan edible for all these props um, if you so desire so There's that but um, on the windows here. Um, I will show you in my package manager You don't have to do this, um, but I do want to show for credit that Lumo Art is the one who made these props. So if you do want to download and use it for your own use or for practice, you can convert these food props to Vignan, um, to Vignan uh, edibles. Especially if you have your own specific preferences of how you want it set up, you could definitely download their food pack. It's really great. Uh, highly recommend. But yeah. But we're going to convert this burger and we're going to prepare it as an edible. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to, of course, um, you know, basically, um, actually, before I, um, before we actually get into this, in the next clip that you're going to see, you're going to actually see, um, how to actually install the Vignan SDK, by the way. So, you can, um, you can skip it if you want, but otherwise, I'm gonna, sh it's gonna show you how you can add the Vignan SDK to your Unity project. You don't need the, uh, VRM Unity package, you just need the Vignan SDK in your, um, Unity project file or project basically so just keep that in mind but roll the clip basically so in order to install the Vignan SDK to Unity first of all you're going to be needing the version Unity 2020.3.48 now I'm using the wrong version of Unity don't ignore what the top part of my screen says but that's the version I recommend to you and that's also what Suvadrail would recommend do keep in mind by the way Vignan does rapidly update so because of that there's going to be a chance Vignan actually it's more of a definite that down the line Vignan's probably going to get um, a big unity change so there's going to be like a it's going to probably be in unity 2021 or 2022 down the line um, again the date of that is unknown. Probably in the future, maybe you end up um, getting that update. I don't know. But either way, if there happens to be a new update to Vignan, then please make sure you use that version instead, and then you disregard the version I just mentioned. But in the making of this tutorial, Unity 2020.3.48 is the version you're going to be using. So, in order to install the Vignan SDK, you basically just go to Unity, uh, open up your project, name it wherever you want. I personally put the UniVRM, um, you know, files here. You don't have to, but that's if you want, if you prefer using Mtune. I usually prefer Mtune for simplicity, but you do whatever you want. Um, but you don't have to. Basically, in File Explorer, you should have, um, you should install the Vignan SDK. Again, the Vignan SDK also updates as well. Um, so just keep an eye out for any updates because, again, Vignan does rapidly update. So I cannot keep, keep up, but I just, you know. So basically, just download the Vignan SDK um, and then you just click and drag the Unity package over to Unity. And then you just click on import. You just give it some time to import, basically. And that's how you would install it. And as you can see, the Vignan SDK is right here, basically. So 
pretty much uh, from there, you could basically just do what you want in regards to the Vina SDK, which um, I will then show you in the next clip what's the next thing we're going to be doing. All right, so once you've seen that, uh, once you now have the Vina SDK in Unity uh, and you also know how to use Unity or something like that, if you have your FBX file with you, you just import your FBX file and you can add all the cool shaders, you know, extract your materials, add that cool stuff if you like. If you don't know how to do that, there are tutorials out there in Google. You can learn how to do that. But otherwise though, um, pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to, of course, let's say this is the FBX, but this is a prefab. You're going to add your FBX over to your hierarchy. And then what you're going to then do is you're going to right click, click on create empty. Then you're going to name this whatever the prop is. So you can name this to be edible or you, I'm going to name this burger, but you can name it edible or whatever you want make sure that this is a uh, set where the position is at zero 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 for x y and z that way um, the orientation should be good then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click and drag your FBX or your FBX file your edible object uh, to the game object right here the empty one like this then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the empty game object right here and then you're going to add component. You're going to go ahead and add a box collider, basically. And then you're going to click on edit collider right here. What you're going to then do is you're going to adjust uh, by clicking these cute little dots right here, these small, small little dots. And you can be able to adjust them manually like this. Um, but what you can also do is that if you want to make it faster, you can hold the ALT key and then move your mouse so that way you can actually be able to have, um, you can be able to make it much more faster to scale the, um, collider to the edible, basically. Then what you're going to do is you're going to add another component and type in edible and then you're going to insert the Vina edible item. And pretty much, if you don't want a particle effect, all you really have to do is just select the game object right here, go to Vina SDK, export edible. Uh, I can name this as this, basically. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on save, like that. And then boom, you can actually, that's pretty much how you can create a Vina and edible, that's literally it. But you may also be wondering, what if you do want the particles actually? What if you want where if you eat, there'll be food particles flying in the air like you just don't care? So what we're going to do is we're going to right click, we're going to create an uh, empty and we're going to name this one particle container. So we're going to name it that. You're going to go ahead and click and drag it to the empty game object, which will be the burger here. So it should look like this. So if you do this, it should be like that. So with the particle container right here, make sure that the position is set to 0, 0, 0 as well. Then you're going to right click and click on effects. Then you're going to click on particle system. And then you're going to also have this set to 0, 0, 0. As so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to basically adjust. Um, actually, before we get to that, click and drag the particle system to the particle slide uh, container here. So that way this is like all in one. But basically what you're going to do is that with the particle system, you're going to basically just adjust the settings however you want. So I'm going to basically just show you how I would do it basically. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead um, right here in the start color. I'm just going to have the color be whatever the burger would be or something, whatever you want. Um, so you have that. Uh, you can, I can have the max particle be five or something like that. Um, Again, you can adjust it however you want, basically. Uh, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. It's just a matter of preference, basically. But you could just, you know, adjust the color of your particle here. You can set the max particles here. Um, you know, right here, you can set it to whatever numbers. And then you can set the radius so that way it's smaller and not too big. Um, and you can basically just have it like that. Pretty simple. That's all you really much have to do. But if you're a more advanced user, you can... Definitely play with these settings a lot more or do some really cool stuff, but that's a, how you could keep it simple. But what you're going to then do is you're going to add a component and then you're going to add a particle object here. So right here you're going to add a 
sparkle object and then you can set the destroy seconds to either one five seconds or something like that but keep in mind that the longer the seconds the more the particle will repeat itself so you may want to have this at one second uh, or something like that you can mess with these other things if you want but I'm not gonna bother with it uh, this is just mainly just a matter of like how the particle will uh, spawn if that makes sense if that makes sense um so yeah but pretty much that's all you really have to do and once you got that just select the particle container and then just hide it so click on this little hide button here then you're gonna click on burger here or the you know the parent game object and then under Vignon edible item you're going to click and drag the particle system and you're gonna put that right here so that will be you know when we eat it it will enable this uh, particle effect so what we're gonna do is um, you can close this or leave it out like this but click on the um, the empty game object which is the parent click on Vigna SDK export as edible and then you should be able to name it wherever you want and that's pretty much how you could be able to do it um, how you could be able to do the whole like you know exporting edible especially if you want it with a parkle now in the next part of this tutorial I will show you how to set it up all in Vignon via nodes and what you're going to do is you're gonna go to your settings then you're gonna click on reload items and this will basically um, allow you to it's, it basically has Vignon recheck the folders to be like okay did you update is there a new folder or a new file we should be aware about um, but basically it's again settings miscellaneous MISC and then you click on reload items basically that's how you do it and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on node graphs then you're going to add a new uh, graph right here then um, you can have it as a channel point or a kick or YouTube whatever the heck it is you're going to basically add um, I'm going to add a channel point uh, but you can have it as a hotkey I'm going to say uh, feed you're going to say feed streamer you could have that and then what you're going to then do is under the action notes here click on food then you're going to have this set to left hand or right hand whichever one if you prefer to have it like I think randomized I believe you could actually like um, have it like this where you can just just an example for a little bit more advanced users you could have this randomize your um, you could have this node help randomize, but let's just, let's not overcomplicate it. Um, be basically connect this, choose a hand you want, and then you can click on the food that you want to feed to your, or you want your chat or whoever to feed to your uh, VTuber basically. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my leaf motion. Yes, I would recommend have hand tracking, unless like you have an animation, right? So if you have an animation that uh, can basically have your hand raise or something like that to your face, you can. And if case of um, in case you are gonna ask, I do have a tutorial on how to make Vignette animations. Uh, if you're curious on that or poses, it's on my channel. I'll link it in the description if you need it, but it's there. But basically, though, um, with my right hand, right, I'm going to right click and send signal. And then there is the burger, which I accidentally made it a little too big. Um, also, the seconds, um, I think the seconds could be shorter because the particle I made a little too fast. Uh, so yeah, so for the particle, you can have it last for like one second or five seconds, but I'll probably have it so here would just last for just one second, honestly. You could do that, but whatever you want, basically, honestly. I'm I'm just trying to guide you on how to do the whole thing, basically, if that makes sense. So, yeah. But either way, um, but for me, I actually have, like, a properly made burger. And, again, you can download these assets in the description um, if you want. But, basically, I just eat that. Boom. Uh, and there, there goes the particle. And if the, bur if the food happens to be a bit too small, so let's say I have this... Um, up a second let's say for instance my prop uh or the burger is a little too small oh my what a small little burger uh you can of course use the scale feature here and you can definitely like adjust it so yeah it could be like big or small depending on the size of your model uh so you could do that 
Um, of course, also, if you feel like, let's say, your, um, your prop is facing the wrong way, like, oh no, the burger is upside down, you can go up to colliders right here, right? And then you can be able to, um, adjust, like, um, like where the prop will be at, basically. Um, so you can adjust these sliders, or you can make the burger do some stuff. But this is so, like, in case, like, if it goes the wrong way, you could definitely adjust it to fit, you know, your model. So, yeah. Um, um but otherwise, though, that's pretty much how you can be able to set up an edible. So that's how you can export an edible, uh, prop with Vignan. You can then add a particle to it, and then that's how you will set up the node graph for the edibles, if that makes sense. If you have any other questions, you can feel free to leave it in the comments. I do recommend if you have any other problems with Vinya specifically, please join Superdell Discord server, link in the description below. If you have any questions, as there is a whole community there. It's basically like Reddit for Vinya, but it's on Discord, so please join there. There's a lot of advice there. Also, there are assets you can download completely for free. You can definitely check out. Um, otherwise, though, um, if you have any tutorial requests, let me know. But otherwise, though... That's all I pretty much have to say, though, and I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Thank you so much to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to get access to extra perks and further support me and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake membership. Otherwise, though, just you guys watching is just enough support for me, and I appreciate every ounce of it. So, either way, though, I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!